Namaste. Welcome everyone. My name is Cassandra and I'm going to take you through this gentle yoga sequence where all of the poses will be done seated. This is absolutely suitable for beginners or all levels really should truly benefit from this, but nothing too advanced, nothing too intense. And this can be done at any time of the day, but you could use this as either a morning or evening yoga practice in bed. So just by sitting up in your bed or just follow along like I am here on your yoga mat if you're doing this at some other time. So lots of options for you here, no props required, and begin by sitting in a way where you can really lengthen the sides of your waist and roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. Let your hands rest on the tops of your knees and bring your chin parallel to the floor. Take a few breaths here. In and out through your nose, closing your eyes. Just doing a bit of a body scan from the crown of your head Moving your awareness down, down your spine, down your arms, down your legs. Simply noticing where there might be tightness or tension for you, or which areas of the body you need to give a little bit more care and attention to. Slow, steady breaths. And you might choose to keep your eyes closed. We're just gonna do a little neck release. So drop your right ear towards your right shoulder and tilt your head back a little bit. So you're getting a nice pull underneath your chin and through the left side of your neck. Try not to lean or slouch forward. And you can almost not really tighten your jaw, but if you really close your teeth together and really reach and stretch your chin forward, you should be able to feel this a little bit more. Keep rolling your shoulders back. And tuck the chin down a little bit more. Just hold when you're halfway. So really stretching from your left ear all the way to the top of your left shoulder. Keep sliding your shoulder blades down your back, lifting tall through your spine. Breathe in and out through your nose. You can roll your chin down towards your right shoulder and right armpit. And going more towards the back of your neck top of the shoulder blade this time. Roll your chin to the center of your chest. And let's lift the head all the way back up through to center. Take a few shoulder shrugs and rolls and we'll move over to the second side. So once more, find the length in your spine, keep the floating ribs down and in, and we're gonna lean our left ear towards the left shoulder and just lift your chin up a little bit. So rolling your head back slightly and almost as if you're trying to stretch your chin forward, pressing your right shoulder down. Just bring your ear to the shoulder, keeping your chin in that halfway point, parallel to the floor. Getting deep into the side of your neck. Big inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, roll your chin down, this time towards left shoulder and left armpit. You might notice that one side is different from the other. 
maybe more tightness on the side of your dominant hand. This is very normal. Bring your chin to the center of your chest one last time. And inhale, lift back up, shrug in the opposite direction. And just taking one more here, staying in our shoulders, upper back and neck, open up your arms into a little cactus shape. Really squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. Eagle Garudasana arms, right arm wraps under the left, maybe just binding once, maybe wrapping twice. Think of shrugging your shoulders down and away from your ears. Lift your elbows up and move your hands away from your face. And maybe you just stay here pushing your hands and forms together, or you can also tuck your chin to your chest to intensify the sensation. Lift your head up. Let's unwrap the arms. Inhale back into that cactus right away to the other side. Left arm under the right, binding once or twice. You can also just reach and hold on to your shoulder blades if you prefer. Shoulders down, elbows up, hands moving away from you. Push your elbows towards one another and maybe tuck your chin down. Keep breathing even as we build up intensity in poses. If you're holding your breath, you might just be going too far and pushing too much. Inhale, open up and let's release. Sit in a way where you have your right shin stacked a little bit in front of your left one. And we're just going to walk the hands forward and fold on down. You might just be staying up on your forearms or you can stack your wrists, propping yourself up. Or you might be a little bit more flat towards the floor. Take five breaths here. Inviting a nice opening through our right hip and right glute. See if you can get the length of your inhale to be just as long as the length of your exhale. And you'll want to push your hands into the floor to slowly curl up. Walk your hands back. And before we go to the other side, go, in, go ahead and extend your right leg out to the side. Keep your left foot to the inside of your thighs here and towards the inner groin. You can stretch your left arm up overhead, really grow out long and then move into a side bend here. So you will probably feel this in the back of your uh, right leg, but more than anything at first, see if you can draw and roll your left shoulder back. So you're getting a big side body stretch, pressing your left shoulder down and away from your ear, relax your head, relax your neck. Keep lengthening out through your left fingertips. And now look down towards your right knee and right shin, and then you can fold on down towards that leg. And I like to just turn my palms to face up and let my spine naturally round. So getting deeper into our hamstrings, stretching into our low back. Pushing into your hands again, lift up about halfway and you're going to flex your right foot as much as you can. If you're able to grab a hold of your toes and flex them back. So I really want you to feel a stretch through the back of your ankle to the sole of the foot. Push into your knee and then reverse this by pointing your foot and your toes as much as possible, really getting into the top here maybe pressing down a little 
and coming all the way up let's switch sides so starting first with our easy fold you're going to want to bring your left shin and left leg slightly staggered in front of the right one and try to maintain length in your spine here as you tilt forward from your pelvis maybe stay up on your palms come down onto your hands or your wrists or just fold towards the mat or the floor or the bed <laughs> wherever you're doing this class Checking in with our left glutes, left outer hip. You can relax your shoulders a little bit more. And you can push your hands into the floor. Use arm strength to bring your shoulders back over the top of your hips. And we'll open and extend our left leg out to the side before coming into that head to knee or Janu Shirshasana pose. We're gonna start with a side bend. So reach your right arm up, use this to lengthen and grow a little taller and try to maintain this length as you reach your right arm up and over. Roll your right shoulder back as if you're leaning back a little bit and relax your head, relax your neck. big extension here and you can look down towards the floor and fold down towards your left shin get even heavier in the pose and push your hands into the floor just to lift up about halfway and we're going to curl our left toes back towards us maybe also using one or both hands to pull it back so it's not really a down pressure it's really a pulling motion curling the toes in you might feel this quite a bit in your calf and we'll reverse by pointing you might even be able to push a little bit with your hand down on your toes. I know this feels really intense, but really good for me. And we'll come all the way up. Let's transition into our deer pose. So you're gonna bring that left knee back in and your right leg is gonna go back behind you. Bring your right knee in line with your hip and you wanna make a 90 degree angle with that right leg. So your ankle is pretty much just directly behind that right knee. Left leg doesn't really matter. It can just be bent naturally in front of you. We're gonna press our right hip down, roll it back and start to walk your hands back until you start to feel a nice stretch with this internal rotation. You really don't need to go very far in this one. See if you can keep your chest lifted, maybe close your eyes. Relax your thighs. And we'll lift back up. And from here into a seated pigeon pose, you might wanna grab your leg to help it come forward. And you can cross your right ankle over the top of your left knee with your feet flexed here. You control how deep you go in this one. The closer you bring that left foot in towards you and the more you work at lifting and pressing your chest up, the more intensely you're going to feel this deep into that right outer hip. And I like to just rock a little bit here side to side. 
If it's too much, you can always straighten your left leg more. And slide that left leg out in front of you. We're gonna switch sides. So you can just keep your right foot and right leg out in front of you. Kind of swing that left leg back. So you have your knee in line with your hip. Your ankle is in line with your knee. And we're gonna do an internal hip rotation. So you're rolling that left hip back and walking your hands back, kind of like in a diagonal to whichever degree of intensity feels the best to you here. Feel your breath go all the way down into your lower belly so that your abdomen expands when you inhale and relaxes back when you exhale. Just inviting that left hip to release and open up a little more without too much force or effort on your part. Walk your hands in from here into our seated pigeon pose so you can guide that left leg back out. You're going to cross your left ankle over the top of your right knee, flex your foot and then decide how close you want to bring that right foot in. Use your hands behind you as like a kickstand for support to push your chest up and then maybe just a little rocking motion might feel really nice here. Extend your right leg out. I'm just gonna turn to the other side. We're gonna come into a forward fold. Both legs extend out in front of you. Feet and leg about hip width distance apart. And start with this staff pose, Dandasana. So really strong through your arms. Think of pushing your hands into the floor and just straightening your spine. It's not going to feel like so much, but there is a lot activating here. Flex into your feet and think of pushing your heels down and pushing your thighs down into the floor and using this counter grounding to lengthen and reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. Roll your shoulders back. Draw the lower belly in. One more breath here. And then we'll walk our hands out, making this a passive forward fold. Let your spine round. Don't worry if you're not going very far in this one, especially if you're just waking up or even before bed. It's really normal to have tightness in the back of our legs. Forward folds have a lot going on. See if you can tuck your chin to your chest a little so that you're really elongating through the back of your spine all the way down the back of your legs. Push your hands into the floor to curl, lifting back up. And let's bend into our right knee so our right foot can be flat to the floor. Really push down into that right foot. We're gonna do an open twist. So left hand goes back behind you, right hand goes to the inside of that thigh. And just think of opening up a little bit to the side. So what we don't want is for this kind of slouching to happen, really use the push of your left fingertips to lengthen up a little taller. Coming all the way back to center, straighten your right leg, switch sides, bring your left foot in, push into that left foot, 
right hand behind you bring your elbow and your kind of like the upper arm to the inside of that left knee to prop and press yourself open into this twist and let's release Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose, soles of the feet together, knees apart, and sit in a way where you can grab a hold of both toes with your two-piece fingers. So you might need to adjust how close or how far you have your feet towards you. Think of relaxing and pressing into those thighs. As you inhale, you're going to kind of pull on your toes in order to lift and open through your chest. As you do this, think of squeezing your shoulder blades behind you. Exhale, let's round and contract. Drop your chin to your chest. So cat and cow from Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round and contract. A few more like this. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. last one inhale and exhale now let's move into a fold you might like holding on to your toes or you can always walk your hands out in front of you and fold from here always remember to relax your neck your shoulders your upper back Start to push your hands into the floor, curl up, head and shoulders off the mat. You might need to use your hands to help your knees come back up with your hands, or sorry, with your feet planted flat. You can bring your hands back behind you, come up into your fingertips and feel your elbows bend here. With bent elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades behind you and imagine you're trying to get your elbows together to touch. Once you have this, you should start to feel a stretch in the top of your shoulders. Now also start to lift your heart up towards the sky while maintaining the squeeze of the shoulder blades and the squeeze of the elbows. and releasing from here let's close with a thigh stretch bring your left leg back behind you you want to have the top of your foot flat to the floor with your calf on the outside kind of of your thigh both knees and both thighs are parallel hip width distance apart you can curl lift up and curl your tailbone under before setting your hips back down and maybe just from being here you feel a nice pull into your thigh. If this feels painful in your knee, please just leave it out. We're not here for very long. Otherwise, you can maybe walk your hands back behind you. Any degree that feels good. Try to keep that left knee pressing into the floor, pushing into each toe. Pressing into your hands, lift back up, and you can lean on your right hip a little bit in order to send that leg out in front of you, and we'll switch sides. Bring your right foot in, top of the right foot is flat to the floor, roll your calf, the flesh kind of from underneath your thigh. You can lift, tuck under, and then set your hips down before walking your hands back, maybe staying up on your palms or coming down on your forearms. Keep reaching and pressing down through your right shin, through your right knee, assuming there is no pain. If there is pain, please leave this out. Not everything has to be for everyone. You could simply do another forward fold in your butterfly pose. A 
last big breath in here and we'll lift up and bring that leg out in front of you with both feet flat on the floor just take a little windshield wiper motion here dropping knees and thighs from side to side And come to take a seat in any way that is comfortable for you here sitting up nice and tall rolling your shoulders back lengthening through your spine finding that same seated pose we had at the beginning of class and take that body scan again starting from the crown of your head and working your way down relaxing and noticing what has changed what maybe feels different now as opposed to when you first began this class bringing your awareness down your spine down your arms down your legs and let's join our hands at our heart We'll close with the chant of Om one time. Inhale to chant. Big breath in. Om. Namaste. Thank you so much for doing this gentle seated yoga practice with me. I would love to know how this one went for you. Please do leave me a comment down below. And if you are new to my channel, you can subscribe by clicking that red subscribe button just to help support free yoga on the internet. If you'd like to stay a little longer, a great five minute meditation would be this one right here. Thank you all so very much. And hopefully I will practice again with you very soon.